Hey guys, welcome to the Seen or Not to See, and today we're going to be talking about Ant-Man and the Wasp. So Ant-Man and the Wasp introduces some new characters. We have uh, Lawrence Fishburne as Bill Foster, a.k.a. Goliath. We also have uh, Michelle Pfeiffer as Hope Van Dyne, the original Wasp. And we also have Hannah John Kamen as Ghost, the villain of the movie. So let's get into the bad things in this movie really quickly. And the only really bad thing I have to say about this movie is that it... Kind of like, there's a lot of subplots that happen in this movie that kind of derail it sometimes. It kind of gets confusing. There's too many things happening at once. And sometimes it kind of hinders the movie. But not to the point where it doesn't make it enjoyable. It just sometimes kind of drags the movie down a little bit. And like the first movie, it doesn't feel like it's 100% necessary. But at the same time, I think that's the point because it's Ant-Man. It's a smaller character. And it's kind of more of a side story in the MCU. So I feel like it's kind of supposed to be that way. But there, you will kind of get the feeling that, like this isn't as important as like, you know, something like Black Panther. But for the good things in this movie, the acting is good. The characters are lovable. The special effects are still great. And a lot of great action sequences. I also love that it doesn't take itself too seriously. And it's just overall a really fun movie, just like the first one. That's why I would definitely give Ant-Man and Wasp a 2C because it's dumb fun. So that's it for me guys. As always, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. The link is also in the description below. And be on the lookout for my spoiler talk for Ant-Man and Wasp. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.